Microsoft has a default quarantine policy in the Office 365, but have you set up that correctly? Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up the customized quarantine policy, how you can give or apply the restrictions on the end user so that they can handle their quarantine emails. Also, how you can set the quarantine policy with the anti-phishing and anti-spam policy. So everything today we are going to see in this video about the quarantine policy. You can access the quarantine emails from the security.microsoft.com uh, webpage. You can come here on the security.microsoft.com and from there you need to click in the policy and rules. Under that, threat policies and then you can see the quarantine policy section here under the rules. When you click on here and you will see there, there are three default uh, Microsoft quarantine policies there. But at the same time, you also create the customized policy and there is a global settings that you need to configure how the user or end users are going to notify uh, if you want to. Otherwise, end user will receive an email from the Microsoft saying that it is your quarantine emails is there. You know, notification, end user will get a notification from the Microsoft ID. So here I, am, I have set this as a my sender address. You can set any user. Uh, admin or if you have any uh, notification mailbox created then you can set that for now i am selecting my email id this is my demo tenant so you can see this is id like that and the subject line if you want to customize that notification that too you can do from here and uh, apart from that there is one interesting is this use my company logo so whenever the end user get a notification that in that notification email end user can see your company logo and the send end user spam notification is whenever the notification if the any quarantine emails got quarantine with the spam due to spam then how often you want to send the notification to the end user within the four hours since the from the email quarantine or the daily once in a day or the once in a week so i prefer always a day, a day and then you can save this policy this is the global policy so you do not have any other customizations that you can make from here uh, apart from that the customized policy when you click on here and you need to set if you want to create a customized policy uh, you can set the name something uh, quarant quarantine policy and then next and then there are uh, restrictions uh, recipient message access like how end user are going to handle this limited access is basically user can see the message in the quarantine portal but they cannot release the message or do any kind of action that is the limited access and uh, set specific access is basically end user can release the email from the quarantine portal or the recipient can request the email to the office 365 admin to release the email on behalf of him and her okay so this is the way and they can and also user can delete or the preview the message or the block the sender and that way uh, user can handle that and plus the notification whenever the email is got quarantine the user will get a notification that your email is got quarantine apart from this uh, this is the customized policy i'm not going to create a customized policy but you can leverage the existing policies that is already there so quickly we will see what is inside so default full access policy is basically uh, end user release the message from the quarantine block the sender delete the message or the preview the message and the but notification is disabled admin only access uh, notification is disabled but end user will not have any kind of access to the quarantine emails and then there is a default full access with the notification policy is basically user can release delete and preview the message but they also get the notification for that so how you can apply this with the your anti-spam and uh, spam policy 
anti-spam policy the phishing anti-phishing policy when you click on the anti-phishing policy you need to go always on this is a default policy is there then you just need to click on this and then when you go little bit down and there is edit section and you can see here is the default action if the message is deleted as per the user impersonation what action need to be done so if you want to do the quarantine message then you will get default full access this these are the three policies you can see and based on your requirement whether you want to uh, send the notification to the end user and also they can delete preview and release the message or block the sender then you can go with that this miss option uh, if you have something the message deleted and domain impersonation I will talk about the domain impersonation and user impersonation that kind of alerts uh, that kind of attack how you can handle in a separate video uh, if the impersonation is against the same uh, spoof demark if it is found the what how you are going to uh, uh, react with that message uh, these these kind of things you can have uh, set the policy and set the whichever the default policy you want to set for the end user and this way you can handle the customized policy or the microsoft default quarantine policy with the anti-spam and anti-phishing uh, i also quickly i'll show you how you can anti-spam in the anti-spam policy how you can set this in the anti-spam policy you need to go to the anti-spam inbound policy where the all the emails will come and you can take the action on it so edit section here on the top spam the move message to the junk folder or how you want to do this if there is a message is quarantine message if you want to do quarantine then go with this default full access admin only access i always prefer spam for the admin only access policy and then high confidence spam then also if you want to do a quarantine but access level admin only policy so that only admin can see the message make a decision and then release the message if the end user want this way you can set the quarantine message and set the policy as per your requirement and uh, make your uh, make your uh, email um, uh, or keep your email hygiene uh, properly this way you can handle this uh, quarantine microsoft quarantine policy how end users can or the it admin can handle this quarantine emails or release the emails for the end user on their behalf so basically what you need to do is you need to come to the review uh, section email and collaboration uh, we are in the same portal security.microsoft.com and then you need to come to the review and then you will see the quarantine page here quarantine and from here you can release the email for the end user since i do not have any quarantine emails for my organization so i'm i cannot show you how to release but it's basically you need to select and the set the button release and that's all and how the end user are going to access this portal is basically they need to come on the security.microsoft.com same and they can see the review or you can send the this uh, url that is basically the security.microsoft.com slash quarantine and when you hit the enter they can land on the same page from there they can handle their quarantine emails uh, this is a small demo from me if you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching